Hey guys, um, I'm back, and today we're going to be making a Starburst. So what you'll need for this is some bands, your loom, it can be any type of loom because it's going to be in the staggered order, and your hook. And you can use your mini loom, it may help. You will need it sooner on. So first, you are going to take, you're going to make sure the arrows are pointing away from you, as you can see. Or if you don't have arrows on yours, you can just make sure that the U's are facing you. So it would look like that. Now, you're going to take your first color. And you're going to take it and go from this one to this one. Then you're going to be doing that all the way to the top. Now that you've done that this side, you're going to do the other side all the way up now you have done your border it should look like this now before you, now, before you start doing anything else, we have to do our stars. So, you can have unlimited colors, but I like to do my stars in, in the um, same color. And I'm going to use six different colors. And you only need six of those colors. I like to count out my colors before I put them on. So, I would have six... Six, 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 and six. You may want to add an extra band in there because the, the bands may snap if they're not rainbow loom bands. But now I have five colors. You'll, you're gonna, I'm gonna use six. So, so now that you have your six colors, you are going to take your loom. Take your first color and oh yeah this is when your mini loom comes in and you take the bottom of your mini loom and push down all of your uh, pegs see if you don't want to use your mini loom for it you could use your fingers like this any way you find it easy will work So, you take your first color, put it up to the right, and you'll take it, put it down, there, so you go here, 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 and you're just going to go, keep going in a circle, like this. Now you will be doing your next color, and mine will be clear green. You're going to take it, put it up here like I showed you. Now you don't want to do this peg, you want to skip one and go up to here. So then you keep doing your little star. Remember here, 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 here. And then you just keep going around.
And see, you don't want to do that one because that would look kind of weird. But you make sure you do them in the star pattern. And you make sh and it may be easier if you push down your middle bands every now and then. So you go all the way up. So you make sure you want to make sure your band goes on top of the one that you placed before, or that would mess it up. See, and if you have a really thin band like this one, you may not want to use that one. You may want to use a thicker one. And then you just keep going. If you need to push down some more bands, that's okay. Feel free. And if you get a, a band that snapped, just replace it. And make sure you go in your star pattern. And the last one, you go here, 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 here. Now that you have all your stars, you have to do one more thing before we start limbing. You're going to take your main color, and my main color is white, and you're going to make a capping. If you don't know how to make a capping, then that's okay. What you're going to do is you're going to take one of your main colors, mine is white, and you're going to do like a ponytail on your fingers. So then you just stick it on. And I'll show you that again. Here you go. Pull like this, then you wrap it like an X and put it on. Then you pull, wrap it like an X, put it on. And then you can just put them on your pegs. Now make sure they go on top of all your color or it will mess it up. Wrap like a ponytail. X, put on. Okay, now make sure you push it down and push it on. Now, that's not all you need to do for the capping band. You're going to take one more capping band, flip your loom around, and put it on this one. Now, this is the one where you're, this is the side where you're going to be looming. And once you put your capping band on, you're ready to loom. Get your hook ready. And what you're going to do is you're going to go inside of this capping band and grab your color mine is gold you're gonna make sure you hold your capping band down and put it on the middle of the starburst make sure you have your capping band though then you're gonna go under this capping band in the middle you're gonna grab now it doesn't go like you placed it it's gonna go the other way so it would be you go under this capping band you grab your first gold, and your first gold should be going to this side. Then, you're going to go up to here. Make sure you only grab one band. Go up to here. Go up to here. Go to here. Now, I'll go over one more star with you, and then I'm going to go on my own and do it. And remember, you pull. What you're going to do is you're going to pull this blue one up, put it on here, pull these here, here. Now make sure you only grab one band here, here. Now you can loom the rest of it by yourself.
Now, if you accidentally pull one of your bands up and it slips off, that's okay. You're going to go into your capping band, and what you're going to do is stick it through all your bands. Then you're going to grab it with your hook, pull through, and put it back on the peg. So it would be like that. Now that you have all your stars loomed, you're going to loom your sides. What you're going to do is go under your same capping band, grab the first band you see, and put it on the side peg like you place them. Then you're going to go under that one. You're going to go under all the bands every time. Pull the last band, which would be white for me. And then you're going to just go under all of those and put them up. Now, you're going to do that on both sides. Now, I'm going to go under, do the other side. Grab the last white, put it on, and then you're going to do that all the way to the top. Now that you've limbed everything, you're going to stick your peg through all of these bands and pull your main color. Then you're going to pull that through all of your bands, push it up here so it doesn't break your hook, and then pull off your starburst. It will look like this when you are done. Now for the extension. And turn your loom back around. I usually use a five extension, so you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. You're going to take it off your hook. Make sure you don't let go of it. Put it on the end of this one. You're going to go under the thing, the, the starburst you just put on. Make sure you hold it down so it doesn't come undone. And then you're going to put it on that. You are, you're just going to keep on going. It's okay if they come off after you loom them. That happens a lot. Then you're going to take a C-clip or an S-clip. I'm going to use an S-clip. and slip it on and then take the little the place where we put the capping band on the other side you're just going to put it on there so that is your starburst thanks for watching please subscribe and i'll see you next time bye